what's up everybody this is Rudy with MMO play and today I'm gonna to show you a first look at Imperion let's go ahead and take a look at some of these classes so it looks like the first class that you can choose from is called the Zen with special attributes suitable for active and aggressive players Zen fight and plunder their enemies they gain their resources by raiding other players and destroying the fleet to create a debris field Equipped with additional fleet slots, they are able to build their ships out of Zex, allowing them to quickly adapt and rebuild their fleet by disassembling and stockpiling. And the details are three additional fleet slots and assemble ships by Zex. The Zen roam across space in a swarm, raiding and plundering their enemies. They can morph their ships to adjust to any combat situation. Their strategy is simple. Offense is the best defense. The next race or class is Terran and their special abilities. Suitable for ordinary active players, Terrans are generalists. They are very good at harvesting debris fields. Handling their recyclers requires some time, but they don't necessarily have to attack other players. And the details are that they get a 20% bonus, higher basic ability to harvest comets. Terrans are the master of improvisation. They have a respectable fleet. But above all, they knew how to extract resources from planets and comets. Their strategy is a balance of offense and defense. The next race is the Titans. Their special attributes are that they are suitable for less active players. Titans are a defensive species. They receive a bonus to annexations, and their Titan shield has a huge amount of hit points, making them the perfect choice for less active and defensive players. The details are that they gain a 20% higher basic production of annexations, and they have a shield generator. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Titans are a defensive species. They receive a bonus for annexations, and their Titan shield has a huge amount of hit points, making them the perfect choice for less active and defensive players. So let's go ahead and uh, choose the Terrans. That seems like it'll suit my style. Also, you get to choose between three different attributes. I mean, three different admirals with different attributes. So... Liv Hewland, or Hulland, is a superior tactician, and she gains 10 plus firepower all the time. That's pretty cool. And she is also a geologic. She also has geological experience, which is a 25% resource bonus. William Russell has a 40% resource bonus, and has 50 plus times the construction speed. Okay. Pretty interesting. Carlos de Santo, 40% additional ship construction speed, 20% firepower recon ships. Okay, I kind of want to go with William. Alright, so it looks like it just jumps you right into the game. Nice little tutorial on the side. I still have yet to hear any sound whatsoever. Maybe there's a little mute button or something? Nope, nope, no sound. Okay. That's actually not that bad for a browser game. You really don't want too much sound because, for the most part, I play very passively, so I have it open in another window while I'm, you know, uh, reading or doing some kind of homework or anything else. So it's actually perfect for me. Not so great for the quality of the video because <laughs> it's just complete silence. Okay, so it's giving me a little bit of introduction into the construction process. Let's see. Load times are not too bad. You can upgrade structures, solar power plant. Pretty snazzy. And then you have your basic kind of tile layout base very limited as far as space goes set on new land okay that's pretty interesting so let's see what we got here habitat shipyard tritium rig crystal mine metal mine and then the power plant okay pretty cool so now I have enough energy start building a fleet all 
All right, let's see what the combat is like in this game. Send a fighter, basic recon ship. Let's jump right into it. So this is pretty interesting, guys. I mean, the menus and, and the uh, user interface is really nice. It looks like everything just flows very well together. Flight time reduced to 20. Okay. Ah, okay. So it doesn't look like there are any graphics for the combat. So that's pretty interesting. It just did it automatically when I was just waiting for what looked like 20 seconds. And then it just tallies up your experience after that. Okay. So not much in regards to features. No sound, which may or may not be a plus for you. No combat system, which I can understand for a browser game that you kind of play passively. I mean, I've played games before where there wasn't even a user interface. It was just straight up text. So, it doesn't bother me too much. Superior geological experiences. Okay, and this is the skill points. Ah, look at that. What do I want to build or focus on? So I leveled up, and now I can level up my Admiral. Let's do attack experience. That looks interesting. Attack the enemy planet. Continue. Okay. And then you gain resources from fights. And left debris, and you can harvest the resources. Okay. Steps 4 of 41. Goodness. Quite a lengthy tutorial. Alright. Okay, so it takes us back to our map. Set a new land. So you can build up your base. And let's see what it recommends that I build. Oh, solar plant. Upgrade. Alright. We are upgrading again. So it looks like we're just going to continue to upgrade. Let the time go by. So, there's a little countdown right there. It shows you how much time it takes. So it's not bad. Not bad at all. I like how fast the timers go. That makes a big difference, especially when playing a browser game. You really don't want to have your timers last too long because then you just completely lose interest and you'll be playing and then suddenly it just interrupts your play time because you try to upgrade or you have to repair and I just can't stand it when it does that. It's like, well, I guess I'm going to take a five minute break and then you don't come back. So it's good that these wait times are very short. I definitely like that. All right, everybody, that was a first look at Imperion. This is Rudy with MMO Play, and thanks for watching.